Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to take a list of items and repeat them a given number of times in another list and being able to adjust that quantity with just the change of a single cell. So let's take a look and see how easy it is to do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have a list of four colors here. And in column E, I've created a, uh, an area of 50 lines long that I want these to repeat in there however many times I indicate in cell C2. And we're going to use the index, roundup, rows, and if error functions. So let's start out with equals index. Now index returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a row and column in a given range. So I hit tab. What's my array? My array is my list of colors. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that. And the row number is going to be defined by roundup and rows. So we're going to use roundup. And roundup rounds a number up away from zero. And then we're going to use the rows function to count the number of rows as we copy it down. And I'm just going to go A1, I'll hit F4 to lock that, and then A1 again. So as I copy that down, that's just going to count the number of rows. And then I'm going to divide that by this quantity here. Hit my comma, so now I'm into the number of digits for roundup. I'll put zero. Close my parentheses close my parentheses for my index formula and just so I don't get any errors when there's no other information to present I'm gonna wrap all this in an if error function hit end comma double quotes to put in a blank close my parentheses hit enter and there's our formula if error index our range round up the rows indicate the location there of the quantity and then if it's an error put a blank in. Now one thing I need to do though is I need to lock cell C2 here so that when I copy it down that doesn't change. So let's copy this down all the way down to the bottom here and see what result we get. Here since I indicated I only want them to copy one time they only repeat once but if I change this to a 2 now they'll repeat two times. If I make it a 5 they'll repeat five times. So let's talk about the logic of this. In our formula what we're doing here is again in the index function we're identifying the array as our list of colors and we're identifying the row number with roundup and rows. So in the roundup and rows, in essence, what this is doing here is counting the number of rows at that given point. So let's go down to a lower number so it makes a little more sense. If I go here and select the row numbers. It's going to count A1 to A14, which is going to be 14 rows. And it's going to divide it by 5. So that's going to be just under 3. But when you round that up, that's going to be the number 3. So if I hit F9 on that, notice I get the number 3. And what does the index function say? Here's my index. There's my array. Give me the third value. Yellow, green, red in cell E15 is the word red. And that's going to continue on for all the formulas all the way down. Let's pick another one. If I go down to here, I look at roundup and rows. Again, I'm going to click just inside the index function and click on the row number. And you can see it's going rows A1 to A18. So that's 18 rows divided by 5. That's going to give me just under 4. So when I round that up, it's going to give me 4. I hit F9. That's a 4. If I look at my index, take my range, give me whatever's in the fourth row. The fourth row is blue. And again, in cell E19, you have blue. And I wrap all that in an if error function so that as I go down to rows 22 and below in this case, I just get a blank instead of an error. And that's how you can repeat a number of items in a list a given number of times.
And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.